So we just made some moves. I'm happy. Woke up to some great news by Toronto. One, Peter Morazic on waivers. Finally. Two, Kyle Clifford on waivers. Expected. Cap space. Robertson sent down to the AHL. Again, cap space. They signed Olympic gold medalist. Harry Satteri. Satteri. Doesn't matter. Olympic gold medalist for Finland this year. Had, yeah, below 500 win percentage in, uh, you know, in the, in the KHL. However, I think he had a 202 goals against average, a 926 save percentage. Um, he was drafted in the fourth round by San Jose back in 2008. And, uh, you know, he's only played eight NHL games, played him with Florida. Still, I think he had a 292 goals against average. But a 9-11 save percentage. So already better than all the Leafs goalies. Yeah. That'll work. But but that's not the biggest news. Mark Giordano is coming home. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Mark Giordano is a Leaf. Plus Colin Blackwell. And then I think it was a fourth as well. For not a first round pick. Uh, 2022 second. 2023 second. 2024 third, I believe. And, you know, that third's all right because Toronto also got a third from Vancouver for Travis Dermott. Wow, um, that's not the fleecing by Vancouver. It's Vancouver trading Hamannick <laughs> to Ottawa for a third. So they upgraded from Hamannick to Dermott. Younger, better, can play right now. Um, and then the Leafs upgrade for Mark Giordano, who can play hockey, has like, was it 22 points this year? Maybe more, 23? I think he has six goals, 17 assists. Um, and oh, he's played with TJ Brody. He can play the left side. He can play the right side if need be. You know, not the biggest guy, but he's a bruiser. Uh, he's heavy. The offense, he's all right. Defense, all right. Remember, he's a Norris Trophy winner. And the Leafs get Colin Blackwell, who can play both left side and right side. Fourth line, if you need to bring him up to the third line, that's great. Just more forward depth. So my mindset, as of just right now, the Leafs have upgraded on defense. You could have Riley Labushkin, Brody Giordano, Muzzin Sandine, Hall and Lilligren as your backups there at seven and eight. You've got Blackwell who can fill into the lineup, um, fill in that Clifford spot. You got some more speed, more work, uh, just some drive and intensity on, on the bottom half of that forward group. Um, Dubas crushed it today. Crushed it. Now, you know, Terry might you know, he has to go through waivers, so he might get claimed, but it's a one-year $750,000. It's worth, it's worth the risk. Um, I'm glad he did it now, because then he can see. Okay, maybe I have another option. Mariah's it gone. Another option that I can jump in right now. We had good numbers in the KHL. Obviously, he's an Olympic gold medalist. Um, and then there's still some space. There's still some cap space, so there's, there's uh, you know, room for uh, Dubas can work. Room to work with still. And you know what? If he gets claimed, then maybe he has another deal in place. Maybe he already has another deal in place just in case. Who knows? I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Like with what Tampa Bay and Boston and Florida have done, and they're just giving away first rounders and picks left and right. I'm glad Toronto kept their first. They didn't give up too much. Um, they did right by Travis Dermott, allowing him to move on. He gets to go to Vancouver. He's going to get some playing time in Vancouver. Um, he got to live his boyhood dream for five years um, and you know as a Leaf fan I, I thank Travis Dermot. I think he's a wonderful human being. It just didn't work out in the end. Getting Mark Giordano phenomenal. Another you know local boy gets to come home to play and who knows maybe he gets to maybe signs the, the Jason Spezza deal and comes back next year on that you know oh, I'll play league man no worries. Um, exciting times to be a Leaf fan right now they're the underdogs and they're getting better. I think they can do it. They can. They can. Anyway, let's see what Dubis has uh, up his sleeve for the, the rest of the trade deadline. All right. See you later. Go Leafs go.